Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So CMU's 1.16.1 version has just come out a few days ago and it has given us an absolutely insane performance increase when using the Vulkan API. Now for anybody that doesn't know, Vulkan was only released to everyone in the public in 1.16.0, the version you can see on the left of our screen. This 1.16.0 release only came out two weeks ago and in that space of time, they have increased performance across all GPU vendors by between 30 and 50%. This performance improvement is not going to be only present in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild that we're going to be looking at in this video, but in my testing they have increased performance across the board in every single compatible game. This means that the likes of Mario Kart 8, Splatoon 2 and Super Smash Bros which are massively popular on the emulator are going to see enormous compatibility boosts especially so on lower end hardware. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at how massively the performance has jumped in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild because as we all know, this game is by far the best benchmark for performance improvements on CMU. The footage you've been watching so far is running on my 3700X clocked at 4.2 gigahertz. I'm also pairing that with 16 gigabytes of DDR for 3600 memory and my GTX 1080 Ti. And as you can see by the performance numbers in the top of the window, our performance jump is absolutely crazy. To be honest, I don't think we've seen as big a performance leap from one version to the next, probably since about two years ago and that was due to the introduction of dual and triple core recompilers. In my opinion at least, this is a way bigger performance update because while many games don't support dual and triple core recompilers, Every single game on the emulator is likely to get a huge performance jump thanks to this new 1.16.1 update. It gets even better when you remember that there's absolutely no tweaking required to get this kind of performance. This is just how Vulkan is going to perform out of the box when installing and using CMU for the first time. Again, when taking a look at the AMD GPU side of things, they have also seen an enormous performance boost. In this run on the Great Plateau using my AMD RX 580 4GB. On 1.16.0 I'm getting the mid to high 30s up into the 40s sometimes whereas on 1.16.1 the performance again has skyrocketed up to the high 40s mid 50s and a lot of the time when not recording gameplay I'm at 60 frames per second in gameplay. This kind of performance has never ever been possible for me on my RX 580 before and to be honest when I installed the newer version I kind of had to do a double take and go back and check the performance in 16.0 because there was just such a big performance gap that I thought I had made some kind of mistake in setting it up. But when I did these performance benchmarks and put them side by side, the difference is pretty damn apparent with 1.16.1 being 20 frames per second plus faster than the older version. Now, I also did Intel iGPU testing on my 8700K, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get any decent capture footage. This is because one, my capture card broke a few weeks ago, and two, every time I tried to do any kind of recording with OBS or any other recorders, the frame rate would drop by about 20 frames per second, meaning that it's pretty much a pointless benchmark to show you at this point in time. What I've done instead of that is gotten just a few screenshots. So this is of 1.16.0 running on my iGPU. You can see the specs on screen right now. In this update, since 1.16.0 released, they fixed most of the shadow issues with a shadow fix graphics pack and the performance is pretty good, staying above 30 frames per second for me when running at 720p at least. However, swapping over to 1.16.0, again we've seen an enormous performance boost even on my iGPU. My average frame rates have gone up by about 9 or 10 frames per second and by taking a look at some other benchmark numbers other people have given on CMU's official Discord, this seems to be the case for everyone even on much, much lower end systems. On top of these changes to performance in the new release, many of the graphics packs like Clarity, No Depth of Field and No Ambient Occlusion have also been ported over to have compatibility with Vulkan, so make sure you update your graphics packs to this latest release version. You can easily do that by just clicking the little button in your graphics pack window for downloading the latest community graphics packs. Aside from the huge performance gains given in this new release, they have also introduced fixes for graphical bugs, 
errors and issues with the creation of Vulcan's pipeline cache, meaning that not only are we getting a less buggy Vulcan version, but also a far, far faster one. To be honest, that's pretty much it. That's all we have to cover in relation to this new CMU version. As usual, it's going to be released one week after its public release date, meaning that for everyone in the public, it's going to be free on Friday, January 3rd. As always, if you're having any issues in relation to setting up CMU Emulator, you will find my full and complete setup guide linked down in the description of this video. And if you guys want, I will make a brand new video covering all of the optimizations and how to set up this emulator in its brand new version once that releases also. That's going to be it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, remember to hit the like button down below. If you enjoy these kinds of videos but aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, remember to hit the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I make a new video upload. Once again guys, thank you all very much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all in the next one.